In this lesson, we want to review multiplying polynomials. So to multiply two polynomials together, we use the associative and distributive properties along with the rules for exponents. So the simplest case that we're going to come across is multiplying a single term polynomial, which is known as a monomial, by another single term polynomial or again monomial. So here we have 7x squared times 5x to the fourth power. This is a monomial multiplied by a monomial. So it doesn't get any simpler than this. So you can go through, your textbook will probably show you where you can reorder things. I can write this as seven times five times x squared times x to the fourth power. You know, I can group this multiplication together and this multiplication together. And it's easy to do when you think about it this way. Seven times five is 35. x squared multiplied by x to the fourth power. x stays the same. Then we just add exponents, two plus four is six. So this gives me 35 x to the sixth power. Now, this is a very, very slow way to perform this action. So although this is technically the way you show it, it's not the way you wanna do it in practice. All you wanna do if you see something like this, you multiply the parts that you can together. So I know that seven can be multiplied by five and give me 35, so I'll start with that. So I multiply my coefficient seven by my coefficient five. That gives me 35. So that's the first part. Then I just multiply the variables together. I have x squared times x to the fourth power. Again, x stays the same. And then we add exponents, two plus four is six. Okay, so that's the quicker way to do it. Multiply the number parts together, then multiply the variable parts together, and then you'll have your product. All right, let's take a look at another example. So we have negative four x squared y multiplied by three xy cubed. Okay, so again, let's multiply the number parts together first. So you have negative four, and you have three. If I multiply negative four by three, I get negative 12. Now let's multiply the variable parts together. And you can break this up or do it all at once. You have two variables, you have an x and a y. So x squared times x would be x cubed, right? Because if I multiply x squared by x, remember this is really x to the first power. x stays the same, you add exponents. You have a two and a one, two plus one is three. Then for the y there, if you multiply y to the first power times y cubed, you have a y that stays the same, and you add the exponent one to the exponent three, and you get a four. So we end up with y to the fourth power for that part. So the answer here is negative 12 x cubed y to the fourth power. All right, so in some cases, you're gonna multiply a monomial by a multi-term polynomial. We already know how to do this because we've practiced this operation when talking about the distributive property. If we see something outside of a set of parentheses, we can remove the parentheses by multiplying this guy right here by each term inside the parentheses, right? We're gonna distribute it to each term. So I'm gonna start out with negative nine X multiplied by negative five X squared. And I'm just gonna write this out to make it completely clear what's going on. Then plus you'd have negative nine X multiplied by two X. Then next you'd have negative nine X multiplied by negative one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put parentheses around these just to make it completely clear what's going on. And now I'm gonna go through and multiply. So negative nine X multiplied by negative five X squared. Negative nine times negative five is 45. X multiplied by X squared is X cubed. Again, X stays the same. You have an exponent there of one, an exponent there of two, one plus two is three. Then we have plus, we have negative nine X multiplied by two X. This is gonna give me negative 18 X squared, right? Negative nine times two is negative 18. So I'll write minus 18 here. X times X is X squared. All right, then we have plus, we have negative nine X multiplied by negative one. So if I multiply something by negative one, I just change the sign. So this would just be plus nine X. So we end up with 45 X cubed minus 18 X squared plus nine X. There are no like terms here, so I, I can't simplify anything further. And this guy's already in standard form. You have X cubed, you have X squared, and then you have X to the first power. So it's written in descending order. All right, so now if we multiply two polynomials together and neither is a monomial, we can multiply each term of the first polynomial by each term of the second polynomial and then combine the like terms. So let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna split this up and say this is gonna be three X multiplied by X squared minus five X minus three. 
So that's the first part. It's this guy that's going to be distributed to each term over here. Then you have minus 1. To make this easy, to not mess up the sign, I'm going to write this as plus negative 1. So I'm going to put plus, and then we're going to have negative 1 outside of the parentheses. So outside of x squared minus 5x minus 3. I would advise you, if you're not good with signs, or you're constantly making mistakes, don't put a minus anywhere. Put plus negative, right? Especially if you're doing something like this. It'll keep you from making mistakes because a lot of people will put minus 1 like this, and they'll forget about it, and then it just creates a problem. So let's just keep that as plus negative 1 like this, and then we'll be sure to have the correct sign. Okay, so let's go through and do our multiplication. So 3x multiplied by x squared is 3x cubed. 3x multiplied by negative 5x is minus 15x squared. 3x multiplied by negative 3 is minus 9x. All right, then over here, I have negative 1 multiplied by x squared. That would be minus x squared. I have negative 1 multiplied by negative 5x. This is plus 5x. And then I have negative 1 multiplied by negative 3, which is plus 3. Now, one thing you can notice is, again, if you multiply something by negative 1, you're just changing the sign. So instead of going through all this, I could have just said, okay, this is negative x squared plus 5x plus 3, right? Just change the sign and kind of bring it down. Okay, so now I'm just looking for like terms. 3x cubed, nothing to combine with that. Negative 15x squared minus x squared is minus 16x squared. Negative 9x plus 5x is minus 4x. And then we have plus 3. So this is going to be our answer. We can't simplify it any further because there's no more like terms. And it's in standard form. Right? We have x cubed, x squared, x to the first power, and we have our constant. So when we multiply two binomials together, this operation happens so often that we have a little acronym to remember how to do it. So it's known as FOIL, and I know most of you, if you've taken an Algebra 1 course or an Algebra 2 course or any type of Algebra course, you've heard of FOIL. It stands for first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. So again, this only works if you're multiplying two binomials together. It's not something you can use if you're multiplying a binomial to a trinomial or you know any other scenario. So make sure you understand that. But it is a good technique to use. And let's just look at an example real quick. We have a binomial here, 2x minus 1, multiplied by another binomial, x minus 5. So again, binomial, two-term polynomial. So if I want to use FOIL, I would do the first terms. So this is the first term, and this is the first term. Okay, So it's the first term of each binomial. So 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared. Then I would do my outer terms. So what's on the outside? So 2x is on the outside here. Negative 5 is on the outside here. So I know this says minus 5. You can, again, write this as plus negative 5. We could write this as plus negative 1 just to be crystal clear what's going on. I need to multiply 2x times negative 5. That's going to give me negative 10x. Then I'm looking at my inner terms. So what's on the inside? Well, I'd have this negative 1 and this x. So negative 1 times x is minus x. And then lastly, I'd have my final terms. So that's negative 1 and negative 5. So I say final terms in the acronym. It's last terms, but it's the same thing. So we have negative 1 times negative 5, which would give us plus 5. So we have like terms here in the middle. And what ends up happening is we're going to have 2x squared. Negative 10x minus x is minus 11x and then plus 5. So this is known as FOIL. This is a common thing that you're going to do in algebra. And the opposite of this, where you factor it, you'll have a trinomial and you'll want to go backwards and factor it into two binomials. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have x squared minus 7 multiplied by x plus 3y. So again, we're going to use FOIL. So we take the first terms. So we have x squared times x, that's x cubed. Our outer terms, x squared times 3y. So it's going to be plus 3x squared y. Our inner terms, negative 7 multiplied by x is minus 7x. And then the last terms or the final terms, negative 7 multiplied by 3y is going to be minus 21y. So let me kind of move this down. So we have enough room to see. So we have x cubed plus 3x squared y minus 7x minus 21y. All right, so let's wrap up the lesson. There's not really much to multiplying polynomials. You basically just need an understanding of how to use the rules of exponents and how to multiply, right? If you have that down, as long as you understand the distributive property, you're basically good to go. 
So for this guy right here, we're going to look at a tedious problem, something you'll probably get. You have two binomials multiplied together, and then it's multiplied by a trinomial. So what I would do if I got something like this, I would use FOIL to find the product of this, and then you'd multiply that by this, okay? So I'm going to start out by just finding the product of these two. Let me highlight them. So what's that going to be? 3x times 5x would be what I start with because that's my first terms. So that would give me 15x squared. Then my outer, 3x times negative 1 is minus 3x. My inner, negative 7 times 5x is minus 35x. My last, negative 7 times negative 1 is plus 7. Combine like terms here, I would get negative 3x minus 35x. That's negative 38x. Okay, so you end up with 15x squared minus 38x plus 7. Okay, so now what we want to do, kind of scooch this up. We want to multiply this guy times this guy. And how are we going to do that? Again, we just use our distributive property. So I can take each term of this polynomial here on the left and multiply it by each term of this polynomial here on the right. So let's start by just saying, okay, we want 15x squared multiplied by 2x squared minus 5x plus 1. Then plus, we'll have this next term. I'm going to write this as negative 38x multiplied by, again, 2x squared minus 5x plus 1. And then lastly, we have plus 7 multiplied by 2x squared minus 5x plus 1. So let's get a little room going. All right, so let's take a look at the first part. So 15x squared times 2x squared is going to give me 30x to the fourth power. Then 15x squared times negative 5x is going to give me negative 75x cubed. 15x squared times 1 is just 15x squared. Then we have negative 38x times 2x squared. So this is going to be negative 76x cubed. Then we'd have negative 38x multiplied by negative 5x. This is going to be positive 190x squared. Then negative 38x multiplied by 1 is just negative 38x, or minus 38x, however you want to think about that. And then lastly, we have this guy right here. So 7 times 2x squared, this would be plus 14x squared. Then 7 times negative 5x, this would be minus 35x. Then 7 times 1 would be 7. Okay, let's scroll down. Get some room going. So let's look for like terms. So we have x to the fourth power and nothing to combine with that. We have x cubed, x cubed, and nothing else there. We have x squared, x squared, x squared. And then we have x and x. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine like terms. So we have 30x to the fourth power, nothing to combine with that. So we'll start with that. Then we have negative 75x cubed minus 76x cubed. So that's going to give me negative or minus 151x cubed. Then we would have 15x squared plus 190x squared plus 14x squared. So 15 plus 190 is 205. If I add 14 to that, I get 219. So this is plus 219x squared. Then you have negative 38x minus 35x. That would be minus 73x. Then lastly, plus 7. So this is our answer, 30x to the fourth power minus 151x cubed plus 219x squared minus 73x plus 7. It's in standard form, and again, we can't simplify this any further because we don't have any other like terms.